Cooking Like a Man. My name is J.D. Fentress and welcome to my kitchen. Well, tonight for dinner, we're having a garlic ginger chicken fried rice. And it's real easy, something to do on a night that uh, you're just really maybe not in the mood to cook a complex meal, but it's feeling good. And uh, here in just a second, I'll show you the ingredients. Well, if you're gonna make uh, garlic ginger, fried rice the way cooking like a man makes it. You're gonna need a, uh, this, this is enough to serve two people easy. You're gonna need a um, chicken breast, skinless boneless chicken breast, sliced up in thin strips, about a teaspoon of minced garlic, and about a teaspoon of minced fresh ginger, and marinate it uh, all together in a little bit of soy sauce. You're gonna need some frozen mixed vegetables. You're gonna need four eggs beaten lightly, some cooking spray, a little cooking oil, some soy sauce. And here I've already prepared a cup and a quarter of basmati rice. And I, uh, and I cooked it in chicken broth to make it a little bit more flavorful. So I pre-prepared my rice and you're gonna need a wok. Um, if you don't have a wok, you should get one. They're real handy. But if you do get one, I suggest that you get a high carbon steel wok. Um, I'll be back in just a minute. I'll show you how to put this together. Well, hello everybody. Well, the first thing I do when I make my fried rice is I, is I fry my egg. I got these four well-beaten eggs here. I'm just gonna put them in the, put them in the wok. and fry them. Once I get these eggs fried, I'll get right back to you. Oh, I'm back. Well, these eggs are fried, so I'm gonna put them off in a, in a mixing bowl here and hold them for just a few minutes until I get everything else ready. The next thing I need to do is spray my pan again with some Cooking spray. I use cooking spray that's just oil. I mean, nothing else added in. It's just this is just straight up canola oil cooking spray. Put it back on the burner. Probably about two tablespoons of oil, and I'm using canola oil. As soon as this heats up, the next thing to throw in there is the chicken. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. Well, now we're going to fry up this chicken in the water. This just takes a couple minutes. Boy, it sure smells good with that soy sauce and garlic and ginger. But uh, you just keep stirring it in the wok and turning it so it doesn't stick. Keep your pan as clean on the sides as you can. And cook it till it's not pink. If you cut it small enough and thin enough, it doesn't take long. As soon as this chicken gets ready, I'll get right back with you. This chicken, I believe it's about done. The one way to check it is besides it not being pink anymore, is if your spatula you cut it in two easy. Just with this plastic spatula, you can down. It's a very, uh, very quickly cut through the chicken. So it's done. Time to move on. Add the rest of the ingredients. I'll get right back to you. Okay, I'm back. Let's get ready to add this rice and get it going on. I'm going to hit the side of my pan just one more time real quick. Just some oil. Make sure my rice doesn't stick. In with the rice, put it all in there. I 
almost had all of it there. It came out in one big pot. So break the rice up and start stirring it in. You want to add some soy sauce. I just do this by taste. I kind of just sprinkle the whole top of it. Uh, to get it until it changes color. And that's good. You kind of, everybody's eating soy sauce. You, you know what it tastes like and about how much to put in there. So just keep stirring your rice. Don't let it stick. You can add the egg now. Put that in there. And the mixed vegetables. Uh, these frozen vegetables, I blanched them for just about two minutes. Then I drained them. So that got them uh, unfrozen. In time to make this. You could just throw them out. Did that work too? But keep stirring your rice. If you need to pick your wok up off the burner a little bit to keep it from getting too hot, you can do that too. But it's not sticking. Just keep turning it. Keep it going on. Here, I'll turn this phone around and show you what it looks like. There it is. I'm getting ready to plate this stuff up. I'll also show you how to clean the pan. I'll be back in a little bit. There it is. Ready for the dinner table. Catch you on the next video. Well, hello, everybody. Well, I promised you I'd show you how to clean this wok. And it turns out this would be a pretty good example because I got some pretty bad um, rice stickage going on there. So, uh, first thing you got to do is heat the pan up. So, I'm turning the burner on right now. And when the pan gets hot, I'll get back with you. Look at my pan's getting hot now. The uh, food is starting to burn off the bottom a little bit. I got a cup of hot water here. I'm just going to pour it right in there. I got my burner turned up all the way. I'm going to have to set this phone down. You can see it's already starting to peel off. I'll get back with you here in just a second and show you the end results. Doing pretty good. I just, uh, just took a little bit of effort with my spatula and most of it came out. I'm reheating my pan now and I'm going to put uh, about another cup of water in there and scrape around on the pan with my spatula and that'll get it clean and then uh, I'll be right back when I get it to that point. On food particles are uh, gone now. I'm just going to take a take this rag and put it in the hot water and then wipe the edges down real good. Uh, but I can't do that and hold the phone at the same time. I'll get back to you here in just a minute. You see now the pan is spick and span. Um, I just wiped it out with a damp cloth while it was still hot. And got any other loose particles off of it. And I'm reheating on the stove now. And I'm going to pour a little oil in there and spread it around with a paper cloth and let it cool off. Then I'll put it up. The, this is a pretty new pan. The more it gets seasoned, the better it'll be. Now, this is only about the third or fourth time I've used it. Uh, I'll get back with you here in just a minute. Hey, as you can see, the, the pan is dry and it's hot. It's hot enough that the bottom is kind of burning a little bit. So now I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it. And I'll show you as soon as I find the oil. I'll be right back with you. Let's see, I, I put some oil on the pan. Now I'm just going to very carefully, because it's hot. Whoopsie. I'm just going to very carefully wipe this oil around all over the inside of the pan and then let the pan cool naturally then I'll put it up until the next time I use it. I'll see you on the next video.